Hello, hello, my beautiful souls. It is your girl, Wounded Healer of Tarot, and I am back again with another reading here for you today. This reading will be surrounding the sign Sagittarius. If you have this anywhere in your placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, or Venus, this message is definitely meant for you. This will be a general reading, so do take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We will be tapping into your energy to figure out exactly what it is that is surrounding you. So let's get started. Calling on my angels, calling on my spirit guides, calling on my higher power, calling on my ancestors. Protect us as we go into the divine of tarot. What is in the energy surrounding Sagittarius spirit? Calling on you. What is in the energy surrounding Sagittarius? One more shuffle. What is in the energy spirit? Show me the energy here, spirit, surrounding Sagittarius. Thank you. Ooh, I'm loving it so far. All right, any more energies? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. All right, so you have the strength. You have the three of coins. You have the ten of coins. You have the five of cups. You have the King of Swords. You have the Six of Swords. And you have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you have a lot of <laughs> cards that came out. All right, you got the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Coins, and you also have the Eight of Swords with the Eight of Coins right behind each other. Jeez. Okay, I feel like you could be marrying somebody here. I feel like there is back-to-back -back energies. We had the nine of coins. I mean, excuse me, the seven of coins, the eight of coins. The eight of swords, the nine of swords. The king of swords, the queen of swords. The three of coins, the ten of coins. All right, with not a lot of emotions in this reading, with this five of cups which is the only only emotion you could have been heartbroken here all right where you were disappointed all right due to some type of loss some type of heartbreak all right some type of disappointment here but here's your energy showing up the strength card all right someone who's very courageous fearless all right someone who is very confident but with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like you're working hard towards something here. Very, very hard that is going to get you wealth, all right? Something that's going to give you completion here, all right? And it could have been due to this heartbreak where you're trying to block out your feelings. Now we got the King of Swords, which is someone who used in the King, Queen of Swords, which is someone you got Divine Masculine and Feminine, um, Divine Feminine. All right, but you're moving on from something here. You're using logic over emotions here in this situation. It's what I'm seeing so far, Sagittarius, all right? So let's dive in. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. We're going to start with the strength. Why is the strength card here? We got the hangman, all right? This is about making some type of sacrifice, all right? New perspective here, all right? Trying to get some type of alignment on the situation, spiritual growth spiritual elevation all right but here's that nine of swords again with this eight of swords i can't make it up yeah you're in your head a lot about something all right yeah i said that you're not trying to show a lot of emotions but you're in your head a lot about it all right could be having a lot of nightmares all right can't sleep sleepless nights staying up at night all right you could be feeling restricted feeling trapped this can go one or two ways because we also got the hair fan, so you could be looking at who you used to be and who you are now. That might be it, who you used to be and who you are now. Sagittarius, yeah. Clarifying this three of coins. Why is this three of coins here? We got the temperance. This is your energy showing up, yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're putting in the work here, all right? You're trying to find a type of, you're trying to find a balance here, right? 
you're trying to find a balance here, all right? But you're trying to get the end goal, which is victory and success, which is that 10 of coins. But you could be juggling a lot too, putting on a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities. You are divinely protected. You have an angel watching over you, Sagittarius, for whatever you're doing. I feel like you're tapping into your true strength, your true power. That's where that heroin came in at. Spiritual elevation, spiritual growth, wisdom, knowledge. Clarifying this ten of coins. We have the queen of cups. There is the emotion. <laughs> All right. I feel like once you reach that level of satisfaction, then you can really tune in. And here you are tapping into your power. Tapping into your strengths. Here you are again. Here you are again with the king of wands. Fearless, determined, focused. Someone who takes action. Someone who takes lead. Someone who takes action and someone who takes lead. I do feel like you could be a little bit burnt out now because you you didn't you didn't work yourself so hard. You didn't have a you didn't have time to deal with your heartbreak. I feel like that's gonna set in and come together now. All right. But you're making you're manifesting whatever it is here. All right. You're manifesting whatever it is. Let's clarify this five of cups now. Clarifying this five of cups here. Why is this five of cups here? We got the seven of cups with the hangman at the bottom. I feel like you could have been weighing out your options here. Let's, somebody is hurt, all right? Yeah, two of pinnacles. Trying to find a balance. You could have definitely been weighing out your options here. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. Jeez, yeah. You want and look at this at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Cups. You walked away from something. Somebody, somebody, or somebody walked away from you. But somebody's heart. Somebody's heart broke in. I feel like you could you could have chose your money over this relationship. You could have chose success over here. That's what could have been you, what you could have been weighing out your options here. Clarifying this eight of cups. We have the six of swords. Like I said, yeah, you walked away with the king. We got the knight of swords. Yeah, you went after your dreams. Yeah, you didn't think twice. That's how I feel. Yeah, with the six of swords, you, you are moving on. You are moving on. Clarifying this king of swords. The seven of swords with the tower at the bottom. Jeez. All right. You could have found out someone, you know, was lying about something here. Someone was taking something from you here. All right. Trying to deceive you, manipulate you. All right. The owl is here on his stick, which is a messenger, which is also, oh, a messenger, which is also wisdom, knowledge. I feel like your angels was telling you or showing you something here in this connection. And that's where that tower moment came in at. Let's clarify furthermore for the seven of swords. Clarifying the seven of swords for Sagittarius. Thank you. We got the seven of wands with the wheel of fortune at the bottom. You had to go within. I feel like it was your gut feeling, your intuition, your inner knowing. But you had to go within. And that's where that wheel of fortune come in at because you realized that maybe this was just a karmic lesson here for you. A valuable lesson here for you. Clarifying the Six of Swords. 
Yeah, here's that hair fence showing up again. Here's that hair fence showing up again. Which speaks about wisdom. I feel like you've grown. A lot of growth is showing up here in your reading. A lot of like self. I love it. It's like calm and peace, like scenery. I'm loving it. Clarifying this hair fence. Clarifying the hair fence. Yeah, you got away from the drama. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune again at the bottom. You got away from the drama. All right. We got two fives. The five of, the, for the hair fence and the five of wands. This was a change. Yeah, you changed. Yeah. You're, you spiritually grown. Grow, you, you have spiritually grown here. You're ele you've elevated here. And you realize certain things, people and places can't go with you. You're freeing yourself is what it feels like. It feels good, believe it or not. Clarifying this Queen of Swords. Clarifying the Queen of Swords here. We got the King of Wands and the Dev card. Look at that. Jesus. Yeah. You put an end to something here. Yeah. You went through a, a, a birth and rebirth here, right? Yeah. You went through a birth and rebirth here. And you, once again, have tapped fully strength into your power. With this King of Wands showing up twice. You tap fully into your power. Clarifying this King of Wands. We got the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you took your happiness back. You took your happiness back. Yeah, you were tired. You were burnt out. We had the sun trying to come out. Yeah, you freedom is yours for the taking. You took your happiness back. You realized the key was there all along for you to unlock it, though. The key was there all along for you to knock it, unlock it. And that's why this is showing up in reverse. Clarifying the death. Clarifying the death card. We got the six of cups in reverse with the sun at the bottom. Like I said, yeah, you took back your happiness. You are no longer being naive in situations, no longer being gullible in situations. All right. I don't know why I wanted to say fuck the past, <laughs> but that's what I heard. Two, 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 as I just caught. All right. Yeah, you're restoring balance. You're taking back you, your power. What's the energy spirit? What's the energy, spirit? Calling on you. What's the energy? Thank you. Look at that. We got peace. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what this reading feels like. So calm. You found your peace. Oh, look at this. Self-love. Self-love. Self-care. Self-nurturing. And that is why the, I said you finally tapped in when that Queen of Cups came in. It was no emotions on the table. <laughs> Besides the Five of Cups, you tuned in. Yeah, to your emotions, though. I love it. I'm loving it. Let's get one more from this deck. Calling on you, Spirit. What's the energy? Thank you. We got message in the bottle. Communication signs from Spirit. So your angels are trying to communicate with you all right they're trying to send you a message they're trying to send you a message here i said that also with the was it the seven of swords yeah with the king of swords that i was clarifying all right they were trying to shed light here on something all right and that's why you went within and you trusted in yourself you trusted in yourself let's pull you an animal spirit what's the energy here What's the energy here, spirit? What's the energy here, spirit? Calling on you. Yeah, self-love. You healed yourself. You moved on. You sailed away to calmer waters. You took your power back. You got peace. I, oh, I love your energy. All right. I absolutely love your energy. Let's get it. What's, what's, what spirit animal is for Sagittarius? right now calling on you thank you we got the night nightingale spirit love is all around you mm -hmm. and we also got the por porcupine spirit time for beginner mind all right time for beginner mind because love is all around you 
So let's go ahead and get you some close out advice from your spirit guides, from your angels, as we wrap up your reading. Calling on you, spirit. We got the Ace of Pentacles. New beginning. New beginnings are on the horizon. We got the justice. Balance, all right, with the temperance at the bottom. More and more balance is here for you. Peace, harmony, okay? Let's get one more. Thank you. We got the five of cups, yeah, with the three of swords. You got to find that balance, all right? With this justice showing up in reverse, with the temperance coming out in the upright position. You got to find this balance, all right? Because you've healed yourself, all right? You've healed yourself. So there's no need to come back into this energy with this five of cups. There's no inner, no need. I want to clarify. Clarifying that five of cups that just came out. We got the Scorpio. Yeah, death and rebirth. You're going through an awakening. You're going through a portal. Yes, you are. Clarifying this three of swords. Thank you. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, yet again with the World card at the bottom. You're closing out cycles. Fate and destiny is turning in your favor. All right. So let's go ahead and get you some advice as we wrap up your reading. We got... What's the advice, Spirit? Thank you. We got Big Happy Changes. We also got You Already at the bottom of the deck. All right. So big happy changes is yours for the taking because you are ready indeed. All right. So that is what I have for you as I wrap up your reading. I love you all to the moon and back. See you soon.